So here we are on the aft deck of Murdoch First Draw. So this is a Christensen, brand new to the market. Um, just been placed with us and they're asking 7,900,000. So let's go through the, through the doors here. So here we are in the main salon. Now the nice thing about this boat is it's just gone through a huge refit so they've got brand new main engines uh, all of the generators have been serviced brand new air, con uh, air conditioning compressors um, all of the pumps uh, all the motors have all been serviced brand new TVs and that's actually a, uh, a mirror there but that doubles up as a, as a TV um, so lots and lots of new equipment with this boat. Nice open plan dining and uh, and main salon. So as I said first draw so this is 120 feet um, it was launched in 1995 so slightly older this one um, but like I said with all of the um, sort of upgrades and, and the new engines or the service generators air conditioning work that they've had done it really has had a, a great facelift um, so it went through all of these all of these um, upgrades and, and sort of uh, refit work um, just recently last year in uh, 2012 so so really really fresh in fact I've only got a couple of hours actually on the engines uh, so this is an on deck master this is where we are um, at the moment in the the sort of VIP sweet uh, all of them have the new TVs uh, new entertainment system the stabilizers have been serviced all the bridge equipment is new all the navigation equipment so it really is uh, a brand brand new boat in uh, in an older shell so let's go down and take a look at the guest cabins um, so this is a four stateroom layout so we have three down here. It actually lends itself quite well to chartering this boat because because of the uh, the cabin layout here. Some of these rooms you can put kids in and, and double up in the in the bed so it's actually a double bed there. Um, let's take a quick look at the at the bathrooms here. Nice they all have the showers, double vanities. And here in this room as well, and all the others, they have the brand new flat screen TVs. Um, so it's a nice full beam master, which is down on the bows of the boat, so the most stable part. Um, that's sort of the the older way of doing the the builds is to have the master cabin down here because it is so stable. Newer styles is. Um, They'll have the the master up on the on the main deck, just because of the new hull forms they can make the holes a lot wider now, so it uh, lends a bit more room up there. But beautiful, beautiful full beam master cabin here, lots and lots of storage. The same brand new TV and his and hers bathroom. So this is hers with the with the tub. Nice, uh, nice big, lots of storage. So we're upstairs now. Just come up to the uh, the top enclosed deck, the the sky lounge. It is actually quite wide here. Um, the boat it does have full walk around on all decks, but the this is the day head that we're looking at now. But the um, the interior of the boat doesn't feel like it's uh, sort of too narrow at all, so it's quite a nice beamy, beamy boat. So this is Sky Lounge, nice bar area here. Plenty of windows, nice and open, open plan. Walk to the other other side, and there's the new uh, entertainment system that they have on board. Let's just take a look out the window here. There we can see copacetic blind date. That's the uh, Lawson, of course, there's the Trinity blind date. 
Um, and next door to us here, this is uh, Scott Free, and we'll go and take a look on board her in a little bit as well. A beautiful day, a little bit windy today at the Palm Beach Boat Show. So moving outside, it's a bit bright, but here, um, actually it's worth mentioning, the boat has brand new teak as well, so every piece of teak on the boat has all been replaced. It's all about two or three months old. Um, so here there's the two jet skis, nice side crane. Now I've mentioned this before, um, the older style boats used to have that crane in the middle of the deck here. Now of course that was a problem when the tenders and skis were off. You're still stuck with that crane in, in the middle of this deck so it doesn't really lend itself to deck chairs and, and sunbathing. But with that crane being off to the side it's great because once this uh, tender and the jet skis are off and the chocks are away in storage you've got this huge deck back here open to be uh, to be used so it's, so it's a real great layout let's go outside and, and take a look here so as I said it's full walk round round all of the decks uh, the main deck has a full walk round as well so we can just get a good look of this, uh, of the size of this deck here, and a full walk around on that side as well. Um, so let's go up onto the sun deck. Um, so brand new teak up here as well. All the teak is brand new. Uh, brand new bar stools. Uh, brand new stone tops. This jacuzzi is also new. Um, all of the uh, canvas and all of the uh, cushions, that's all brand new as well. So this boat really has had a, a pretty thorough uh, go through and, um, and sort of renew and refresh all of the, um, all of the areas that, that needed it. All this exterior furniture is new as well. Oh, wow. It's very, very windy. Okay, so I've come back inside now. It's much too windy outside. Um, so this is onto the to the bridge. Nice big bridge. Um, we can see so all of this uh, bridge equipment, um, all the chart plotters, depth sounders, AIS system. All this is all brand new um, so fantastic if you're looking to get into a boat that's going to be little to, to zero maintenance for the uh, first portion of the ownership then this is definitely one to to consider back down onto the back down onto the, uh, the main deck in the main salon Okay, so here we've made it down into the lazarette. It's a nice setup here. It's a separate lazarette and engine room. So it might be a little noisy here. We've got some of the engineering equipment running. Uh, so this is the um, air conditioning unit, brand new compressors. All the AC loops have been um, cleaned and treated. These are the engines, brand new engines. You can see under there and the um, the bilge, they were able to paint all of that and treat all of the, the hull plating while the engines were out. Uh, moving back here, the sea strainers, they were pulled out or cleaned. These are brand new uh, water pumps, the salt water pumps there, uh, hot water boilers, and over here to the uh, hydraulic system that was all serviced. I mean, for a for a boat that was built in in 1995, this is just amazing condition um, for the for the engineering spaces. And these are the three um, generators here in the soundproof boxes um, that have all been uh, completely stripped and, and serviced as well. So, real great great condition for this boat. Um, walking back out, we'll pass the water makers. They've also been serviced. New um, membranes in there. Like great sea recovery system. And this is actually a new uh, sewage treatment plant as well, the Orca plant, so it's fantastic as well. 
back to her outside. <laughs>